Time plus motion graphics equals some really awesome results. In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna explore some of the cool things you can do with time effects and create an awesome composition while we're at it. What's up everyone, my name is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film and time is of the essence, so be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is create our title streak animation using the echo effect. Start by selecting the pen tool. It doesn't matter what you set the fill or stroke to, then we're going to create a little circling path that we want our text to move along. Once we have our path made, open up the shape layer, contents, shape one, path one, highlight the path, press Control c to copy it, highlight the text layer, press P for position, then paste the path onto its position. Now we have our text animated across the path that we just created. We can delete the shape layer now, then hold down the Alt key, click on the position keyframe, and type in the loop out expressions the text endlessly loops around the path. Next, we'll add our echo effect, so go up to Effect, Time, Echo, then in the Effect Controls panel, increase the number of echoes until you have a nice long streak behind your text layer, and set the echo operator to Composite in front. Now we have this looping streak of text for our composition. Next, we're going to make a big ring of text around the composition and use the wide time effect to give it a ghosting effect. Here, we have the text will be wrapping around the composition, and the first thing we want to do is highlight it, then select the ellipse tool, and draw a giant oval shape that wraps around the composition like this. Now, open up the text layer, go to path options, and set the path to the mask that we just made so that it runs along that path. To animate the text, what we need to do is alt-click the stopwatch for first margin and type in time asterisk 200 so that the text moves along the path. To wrap the text around the mask, we'll go up to Effect, Time, Echo, we'll set the number of echoes to 23 and Echo Time to 1.110. This is going to be very different depending on the text that you use and the size of your mask. Just play around with these values until the text fully wraps around and connects with itself again. Now for the ghosting effect, what we'll do is duplicate this text layer, highlight the bottom duplicate, go to Effect, Time, CC Wide Time, and set the number of backwards steps to 8 for the ghosting effect. And now I have this cool ring of text animated around our composition. Next, we'll create an animated ball with a motion trail behind it using the echo effect again as well as some blurs. Here we have our ball, and the first thing we'll do is animate it along a path like how we did with our text. So select the pen tool, draw a nice curving path for the ball to go along, and make sure that it connects back to the start like this. Open the shape layer, Copy the path, paste the path into the position of the ball layer, then add the loop out expression to the position animation so that it constantly loops. Now go up to Effect, Generate, Fill, and Effect, Stylize, Glow. We'll set the fill to be fully white so that the main ball stands out. Then for the glow, we'll leave it as is, but duplicate the glow, and then increase the glow radius of the duplicate to 40. Next, duplicate the entire ball layer, Highlight the bottom duplicate, go up to Effect, Time, Echo, Effect, Time, CC Wide Time, and Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Delete the fill effect so our bottom circle is the original red color, and go to Echo, set the echo time to negative 0.05 seconds, number of echoes to 40, for Wide Time set the forward steps to 13, and for Gaussian Blur set the blurriness to around 10. Now you should have an animated ball with a motion trail running behind it. Lastly, we'll add a couple post-processing effects and we're done. Start by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure the Adjustment Layer is highlighted, then go to Effect, Time, Posterize Time, and Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise. We'll set the Posterize Time frame rate to 12, and what this does is decrease the frame rate of everything affected by the Adjustment Layer. If you want to change the frame rate of individual layers, you could just apply this effect to those layers individually. Now set the amount of noise to 12 and uncheck Use Color Noise. There you have it, a great composition that utilizes the different time-related effects in After Effects. Before we move on, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be really challenging and time-consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one simple subscription price. 
For example, you can easily preview templates, let's say from our pulse pack, and then just click apply. Now you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. We're at the end of the video, so be sure to subscribe for more post-production tutorials and remember, always be creating.